Hello, C. Zaries. What's up, dude? How are you doing? So, welcome to your mid monthly reading. This is going to be for June, okay? Uh, June 2020, the second half. And today we are going to focus on your person, okay? How they see you, how they feel about you, intentions, all that. Uh, it's going to be all about them and your guys' relationship. So you don't have to be in a relationship with someone. It's just a connection that you currently have. Okay, this could also be just about love in general. All right? So whatever wants to show up, it will. And you just have to deal with it. So this is a general reading. Keep that in mind. So it may not resonate with everyone. And also, the roles could be reversed. So take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. I just saw that. I had to show you. This could be the one. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's see. For Pisces Aries, what do we have? What do we have for Pisces Aries? Or, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we actually have quite some interesting stuff. We have both self-worth and love yourself first. So you do need to put in the work on yourself, okay? Make that effort. And I don't really feel like it's make the effort in the relationship. Uh, even though whatever you put and do towards you, it's going to reflect on the relationship. So it's important that you feel healthy and comfortable and good with yourself so you have a healthy and balanced relationship with another person, okay? So that's immediately what I'm getting. So for the mid June, you might actually um, put a lot of work towards you. Hello. Okay. Good morning. Wake up. All right. So let's see what's up with you. for Pisces Aries for the second half of June 2020. All right, let's see it. What is the overall energy here? Give me a card for the overall energy, please. Hmm. I feel like you might have some old beliefs about love too. Yes, I like this. All right. I like this a lot. And I like this a lot too, the Eight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Because we have the devil, toxic energy, a lot of toxic energy, toxic patterns, toxic beliefs, um, old beliefs about love, old beliefs about yourself. Um, but we also have the Eight of Cups going from that energy towards the High Priestess, towards the Eight of Pentacles towards feeling good about yourself, feeling good about who you are, what is your intuition telling you, okay? But focusing a lot on following your intuition, being in tune with who you are and yourself, okay? I really feel like you're killing those old beliefs that you really need to take care of those, okay? I also say something that I feel like it's really important for us to realize is that the past, and I always say that because I am currently doing that kind of job, uh, that kind of work on myself, which is the past doesn't define who you are or who you're going to be, okay? The past is in the past, leave it behind and start creating a new you, all right? And I feel like that is kind of the process that you're going through um, during the mid month. So how does this person view you? How is this person Pisces Aries dealing with? Do you them? <laughs> okay. Anything else? All right. So I'm immediately getting X energy. Sorry about that. But they view they view you as someone. They have a strong connection with they view you have the love of their life but they have so many regrets of all the crap they did in the past okay the rules could be reversed you could be the one doing the crap but they uh, are miserable okay because they can't have you they lost you that's seriously what i'm getting um 
and, and I feel like you're just entering in this sort of mode where you're not really caring about um, about what this relationship was, about what, um, I don't know, just about the past, you know? You're releasing the past. You're, I feel like you're starting to create a new life for yourself and you're, you don't even care what happened between the two of you. You know, you're done, 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 and let's move on, you know? Maybe not, but that's kind of the energy what I'm getting, that I'm getting, you know? How did they view the relationship? How did they view the relationship with Pisces Aries? Ooh, where are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else? So they want to come apologize, but they know that it's dead. It's dead. And that's it. So they do want to communicate with you. Oof. Oh God. Yeah. Because they love you. Um, but they are really confused because they don't know how you're going to react. And I mean, it's up to you. You know how you feel. So if you love them, then sure. If you don't, then sure. <laughs> you know, it's just... I feel like right now, to be honest, what's important, um, and we're not even looking at yourself, but at, at you, not at yourself, at you, but the energy I'm getting is that you're going through a lot of, uh, through a big purging of old beliefs, of old uh, patterns, toxic patterns, and that, that is your focus. You're not even focusing on this. So I'm not really sure how you're going to react. But they do look like they want to apologize. Maybe they already did. Maybe they already did. How do they feel about you? So they have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of, of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, roles could actually be reversed, okay? When I was talking that this could actually be you, you focusing on you, focusing on releasing, could be your person, okay? Because we do have the Eight of Pentacles. For me, that is very working on yourself kind of energy. But uh, I feel like they are they want to work on the relationship, okay? Because um, they see you has a wish fulfillment. And I feel like this person is really balanced. They could be... Um, Earth sign, we also have Gemini, Scorpio, uh, strong water actually. Um, but I, I feel like, I mean, they, they do love you, you know, they do love you, but I mean, they had it because I'm getting really X vibes here. And they had it, they lost it, and now they regret it. I mean, that's life, dude. That's life. What are their intentions towards Pisces Aries? Alright, anything else? Yeah, so they're really passionate about you and they have a tons and tons and tons of love for you. And I feel like their intentions is to come towards you with love. A love offer, an apology eventually, and um, I mean, we're not looking at your feelings, so I don't know how you feel, and it's really up to you, because on their side, there is a lot of love, and you do have to make the effort, so maybe you're meant to have this relationship. What are their next actions? What are their next actions going to be? Right. Holy moly. So yeah, I feel like they are figuring out a plan to get you back. Okay, they're really thinking hard about that. Um because they do want this. Two of Cups of higher fund. They do want to commit a relationship with a lot of love. They they lo truly love you so much. They want um a, a union with you or a reunion if this is someone from the past. Um, 
which I'm, I'm really getting that it's someone from the past and they do want that. Uh, I feel like they're going to be a little bit on the cautious side because they don't really know what to expect. But at the same time, I feel like they are going to show up as a very caring person. Um, and I, I just got a good listener. So they, I feel like they are going to hear you and respect you, you know? Okay, so what is the potential outcome of this? until you release your burdens and your toxic energy surrounding you, whatever it is, uh, there's still going to be a lot of burdens attached to this person. Because I feel like in the past, they could have actually be the ones bringing the toxicity. That could be an option. And you kind of need to let go of that toxicity so you can get that self-respect back and you can stand up for yourself um, in this new beginning with this person if you want it, okay? The potential outcome you have here, the Ace, of Cup, the Ace of Pentacles, that's new beginnings, very strong and stable new beginning, King of Cups, a lot of love, and the Strength card. A lot of passion, a lot of determination too, all right? Especially from your person. So let's get some messages from them. What are some messages from the person Pisces Aries is dealing with? Okay, you were kind of annoying me, so go here. I want to have a baby with you. Yeah, I mean, this person is for real. Seriously. But, I don't know. And it's like, I usually, I'm not that defensive about... I usually see reconciliations as something good, you know? Because reconciliations can be something good. But I'm getting a, a very... And it might be your energy, you know? Just not taking it. Being very defensive. What are some other messages? But this person is really for real. And I don't know. I feel like you just need to take care of yourself before you kind of, before you even think about anything else. All right. Let me see what are some other messages. You, you have, oops. Thank you. I feel like you might accept their apology, to be quite honest. You also have, yeah, yes you. I was so stupid. Yes you were. Yes you were. And I don't even know what happened, but I'm already feeling that energy, you know? Jesus, this is really heavy. And I'm like, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And I think like, you, you are pissed with this person. And some of this toxic energy might actually be created by you, okay? You are not releasing that um, resentment, okay? You're, you're having resentment that you need to let go of. You need to work on that. And until you do that, until you release that and end these burdens, this new beginning can't happen, okay? So that's why you may need to focus on yourself during the mid-month to release that energy. It's you? Okay, so come here. Life is more special with you in it. Yes, baby. So yeah, I mean, this person is for real. So, I don't know, maybe you should listen to them. What are some final messages? And advice for Pisces Aries. Okay, anything else? For the midnight. Final messages and advice. All right, guess that's it. Didn't have a lot. Wake up and go now. You can do it. Let go of control. Everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. So I feel like it's really letting go of this relationship. You know, just don't end it. If things aren't in that point, don't end it. Just let it open. And 
go towards yourself, to be honest. Go towards yourself. All right? Definitely healing, bottom of the deck. I feel like that's where you need to focus right now. All right? So that is what I have for you. All right? I hope this helped and resonated somehow. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Okay? Bye-bye.